So we have a simple program in strings to find the length of the string without using the library function strlen. As we know, strlen is a function which is used to find the length of the string. In header file is string.h. So here we have a program to find the length of the string without using strlen. So look at the program. We have a string variable str with size 100 and i is 0 and k is 0. Look at the getters. Getters is used to read the string from keyboard. Instead we can use scanf with the percent %s also. As we know scanf with percent %s accepts only one word string whereas getters accepts multiple words. So we have base logic uh, str of i not equal to backslash 0. The backslash 0 is null character. k++ and i++. And the length of the string is k. So we will take a simple example and check it out. Look at this example. SAI. So first str of 0 is your first letter, str of 1 a and str of 2 is i and str of 3 is backslash 0. Every string ends with a null character. So when i is 0, str of i not equal to backslash 0. What is str of 0? s, the letter s, first letter s is not equal to backslash 0 is true. So once the condition is true, you go inside the loop. Inside the loop we have k++ and i++ and k is 1 and i is 1. With this you go to condition again. str of i not equal to backslash 0 and here i is 1 now. str of 1 not equal to backslash 0 is your second letter a. a is not equal to backslash 0 is true. So again go inside the loop k plus plus and i plus plus. k is 2 and i is 2 now. Again check the condition str of 2 not equal to backslash 0 is true. The third letter is i is not equal to backslash 0. Inside the loop k plus plus and i plus plus and k is 3 and i is 3. Again check the condition. Check the condition till the condition becomes false. str of 3 not equal to backslash 0. str of 3 is your backslash 0 and backslash 0 not equal to backslash 0 is false come out of the loop and the value of k is 3 that is the length of the string. So you can even write this program without using k. You can use i itself to find the length. We will see program in that. So the same program we did not use k here. We do not need k here. For your convenience, I just explained that example. Instead, you can take directly. So, while str of i not equal to backslash 0 and i plus plus, and you can print the length. The same program using for loop to find the length of the string using for loop. So whatever the program you write in while you can also rewrite using for loop. Look at the condition i is equal to look at the for loop notations. i is equal to 0 and str of i not equal to backslash 0 and plus plus i. Inside we have k plus plus. So the length of the input string is k. Look at this program, the same program. We didn't use k here, but we used for loop to find the length. Look at the for loop clearly, the shortcut notation in for loop i is equal to 0, str of i not equal to backslash 0 and plus plus i. Look at the semicolon. We never use semicolon for for loop. So, what does it mean? Means inside the for loop, we don't have any statements. So you come out of the loop once the condition becomes false. So that itself is the length of the input string i. 
a simple shortcut notation so you can write the program in any manner so like this you can even reverse the string uh, without using str rgb you can find number of vowels and number of consonants in any string you can convert an upper case letter to lower case letter so any type of program without using the string handling functions you can write it using this notation